Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hello, welcome, I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you're back, welcome back. Today I am here with a sneak peek unboxing from Diamond Art Club of one of their new releases this weekend. The kit I have to share with you guys today is the absolutely beautiful Glass Mermaid by Dakota Deitweiler. Now this kit along with the other new releases are going to be coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, March 4th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time or 12.30 p.m. Eastern time. If you're in the Diamond or Ruby tier of the re rewards program, you'll get a half an hour early access window for the new releases. So be sure to set your alarms. Now, I know that I cannot be the only person that's extremely excited to see this artwork on the list for release this weekend. Um, this is one that I've seen several people mention and request in the VIP group, and I'm thrilled that we get to see it from Diamond Art Club this week. Their work with Dakota Deitweiler just always turns out so incredibly beautifully. Now I'll just take you a really quick tour of the box and whatnot. Blue branding here is what they use for their kits that come with square shaped diamonds. On the back there's some info about how to diamond paint. Um, there's your kit contents and then on the side here is a QR code that you can scan for a 10% off discount code. Now if you're brand new to Diamond Art Club, I would like to save 20% off your first purchase. Sorry about that. Um, you can use my discount code, which is just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. And that's for first time buyers. Like I said, it saves you 20% off your purchase. So no, no obligation though. There's several discount codes. Some you'll see just in this video. I just recommend taking advantage of at least one of them while you're looking to make a purchase. So let's take a look. This is a little bit, a little bit bigger. This box is pretty sizable, but not too bad, not too bad. So we do have a toolkit here. The bag is reusable and recyclable and there's our, our contents of our toolkit here. Let's take a look at everything that was included. So you're going to get a pen and squishy. The color will vary on both of those. These are some thin plastic multi-placers that if you want to place more than one diamond at a time, you can just pop one into the end of your pen. And you're also going to get some wax to use, which there is a thin plastic film on the cover on the top of the wax there. So be sure you peel that off before you try to load up your pen. Of course, you're also going to get a tray. It might be solid white like this or clear with sparkles. This is not a mistake. This is actually a tray stopper you can pop in that'll help keep the diamonds from sliding out while you've got them in there. And then we have, this is actually not part of the tweezers. <laughs> I'll cover that in a moment. But since this kit comes with square shaped diamonds, you're also gonna get a pair of tweezers. They're quite sharp, so do keep that cover on there. You're gonna get a bag of baggies. You can store your leftover diamonds in or kit up into if you like. And then finally, these last two pieces. So we have, oh my gosh, that is really darn cute washi tape. That is so cute. Okay, so this is a roll of washi tape. This is a cover minder. Cover minders have magnets on the back. You slide one off and put it under the area of the canvas you're working on. Set the canvas down, peel back the plastic cover, set this part down on top, and it will not only look really adorable, but also hold back the plastic cover of the area you're working on. Washi tape, I like to use around the border of my canvas uh, to cover up any glue that happens to go past the edge of the drill field. I also use washi tape to section off my canvas. This is really adorable. The print on the washi tape is going to vary and uh, the style of the minder is going to vary as well. If you'd like to see a demo video of like how I use washi tape and explaining more about why, I do have a video dedicated to just that that I'll link below in the description box. Here we've got a sticker that I like to use these in my paper logbook once I've started a kit because I like that it has the original artwork and the title and whatnot on it. You can also use it to organize your stash or do something else crafty with it. And then finally, everything else is included here in this branded dust cover plastic bag that's protecting the canvas and the rest of the contents. So Diamond Art Club's canvases are so, 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 so soft. They keep upgrading them more and more. <gasps> wow, she's a beauty. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's gorgeous. That's absolutely gorgeous. Look at those colors. Oh my gosh. So we do have a bag of diamonds. There's a brief look at the colors. We'll take a look at those more closely here in just a bit. The camera wants to focus on her face. <laughs> 
Uh, here you're gonna have a pamphlet with some helpful info. There's a thank you note from the founder on the front, some info about what's included in your kit, a beginner video. I also have a beginner video that I'll link below. I wanna point out this VIP Facebook group link. Once you've made your first purchase, I recommend joining the VIP Facebook group. It's a really nice resource and has some fun behind the scenes info as well. Step-by-step -step instructions written out for you as well as some tips and tricks and another discount code. And then uh, QR codes that'll take you to the mobile app on your device. You do get 20% off your first purchase through the app and it's handy for signing up for notifications of sales and restocks and whatnot. You're also going to get this large sticker sheet that has the title, the artist, a spot to write your start and end date, a really beautiful look at the original artwork. Gosh, those colors. Uh, so this is gonna have square shaped diamonds, 25.6 by 25.6 inches or 65 by, by 65 centimeters. And then over here is a set of pre-cut sticker labels. So if you're like me and like to kit up your diamonds into storage containers, um, I like that these are pre-cut and I can just stick those on the storage containers and refer to these symbols when I'm working on a canvas. Um, so the color code system you see over here, I wanna point out, this comes from the DMC color code system, which is, there's a DMC brand of floss in like stitching. Um, and so it's a little universal, like you'll always see Diamond Art Club using that color code system. In Diamond Art Club's numbering system specifically though, anything under the number 150 is gonna be a special kind of diamond called an AB. So I'll tell you more about those once we're actually looking at the diamonds together. But this kit's gonna have a total of 53 colors. Taking a look at the canvas itself, you might notice sometimes that when you pull out your canvas and unroll it, that sometimes the edges will want to curl up just a little bit. That is just from how it's unpacked. Diamond Art Club's canvases are self-flattening, so if you give it a little bit of time, it will flatten on its own, but if you're feeling impatient like me, you can roll it backwards, which is safe to do because Diamond Art Club does use poured glue on their canvases, so I'm not gonna damage the glue or the canvas at all. Now I wanna take you on a little tour of the canvas. We have their branding at the top, Do What Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas, you can see they're scalloped, they're finished, you're not gonna to have to worry about fraying. The backing on the canvas, as I mentioned, is very, very soft. And the material itself is a nice blend that's really sturdy and really malleable. It's like the perfect combination. <laughs> and it lays flat and holds drills really beautifully. Um, they also, like I said, they do use poured glue, which you can usually tell if a company is using poured glue because they'll have this clear plastic cover. But it's very sticky, but it's also very forgiving. So if you place down a diamond, need to adjust it a little bit or something like that, it tolerates it really well, but then also holds the diamonds really well. I've never had diamonds fall off of a Diamond Art Club canvas. So we do have a legend up here. We have one on the top left. We have the same legend over here at the bottom right. And then here at the bottom left, we've got info like the thumbnail, the title, the artwork, the size, and then copyright. So Diamond Art Club has both obtained permission by Dakota Deitweiler and is fairly compensating her for the use of her artwork as a diamond painting. And with art theft being a bit common in the diamond, in the crafting world in general, I'm always going to support companies that are doing right by artists. Here at the bottom, we've got their socials. Be sure to follow them there so you can stay up to date with new releases and sale info and all that. There's another discount code. And then here at the bottom right, info about their lifetime warranty. As long as you're the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you're covered under that lifetime warranty, which includes if you run out of a color or if there's any issues with the canvas or the drills, anything at all. Their customer service will get you taken care of. So take a little tour of this canvas with me up close. The drill field printing is really clear. This is definitely looking like it's gonna have a decent amount of confetti, which is where we've got lots of color changes in a small area like you can see here. Lots of different symbols in a small area. The, the good thing is you're gonna get lots of detail with that. The potential downside, it's not really a downside, I don't think if the payoff is there, um, is that areas with lots of confetti like this are gonna take a little bit longer because you're gonna be changing out the color in your tray more often and uh, probably single placing most of that. But I feel like with a lot of underwater scenes, that's pretty common. Um, now, I will say that a lot of times when I'm looking at the rendering on the canvas, sometimes the way the printing looks is significantly harsher than how it's going to look with diamonds down because you're seeing the symbols and you're kind of seeing some really stark digital printing. And so I'm always one to go, I want to see what this is going to look like with diamonds down. And a lot of times, especially with like 
faces and skin tones and we have this underwater effect and whatnot um like 99 times out of 100 like more than nine times out of 10 it looks better and looks really really good especially with diamond art clips canvases it looks better with drills actually down so we are seeing like that rippling effect of like the light coming through the water and whatnot and i am so curious to see how we th how that's going to translate and i want to take a look at where those ab's are going to go as well but the the symbol printing and everything is really clear it looks really good let's do a quick measurement and see where we're at so we are at exactly 65 centimeters left to right. And then we are at uh, exactly 65 centimeters top to bottom. Not shocking. Diamond Art Clips canvases are usually true to size. So let's take a closer look at some of these beautiful diamonds now. We do have a sticker on the package of diamonds that tells us what kit these go with just in case you store your diamonds separate from the canvas and outside the box they came in. Here's that beautiful color spread. Oh my gosh, love, love, love the underwater color scheme. Uh, so we have this little straggler pack of diamonds right here. A pack of regular 318 is that color. And then here's our first AB diamond, 108. Perfect, right off the bat I can show you. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis and these are named after the Northern Lights. If you take a look, these diamonds have an iridescent coating on the top that's even more sparkly and is, has way more to it than like these regular diamonds do. They're reflecting kind of a variety of colors. The areas of these have been charted are going to catch your eye and draw your eye to those areas and really highlight and elevate the painting. So this is our first of five ABs in this kit. We're gonna look at all the diamonds and we're gonna go through the canvas. I'm gonna point out to you where the ABs have been placed. So. Diamond Art Club does manufacture all of their diamonds in-house, both their square and their round drills. More on that in just a moment. 103, our second AB is this nice cherry red. We have a big bag of those. Love that. Maybe in the coral, maybe in some of that red coral. That's what I'm putting my money on. Uh, but Diamond Art Club, with them manufacturing their diamonds in-house, with their whole own process and formula and everything, that means that they have whole, full control over the whole process. Oh, love that color. Um, and so their drills are really high quality. Their square drills are really uniform in size and shape. You tend to have pretty minimal trash and they're really sparkly and shiny. So uh, they did actually, well, hold that thought again. Here's our next AB, our third AB, 140. I'm a little straggler down there. I like that pretty blue, maybe in her hair. So pretty. Oh, we have a second bag. Is that the same AB? Okay, so we actually, we do have two bags of this 140 AB. There was one on the other strand, strand and one here. <clears throat> but Diamond Art Club recently further upgraded their square, square drills. So now they'll have 26 facets on the top as opposed to 13. And as opposed to the mix of nine and 13 facets on top that they had before. Here's our next AB, 119. I love that purple. Oh my gosh, I really love that purple. That's so incredibly beautiful and sparkly. So um, real quick, let me pop up a picture for you guys so you can see what the drills like with the 20, look like with the 26 facets on the top. They're hyper faceted. They're almost like round drills, I feel like, <laughs> as far as how faceted and sparkly they are. Gorgeous browns and earth tones. And here's our last strand of diamonds. Diamond Art Club roughly puts their diamonds in order of weight from the colors that they're the most of to the colors they're the least of. So we're in the smaller amounts now. 141, our fifth and final AB, this white AB. Very, very common. You'll see this one a lot in Diamond Art Club's kits. It's a good, good old standby. <laughs> Hot pink, some shades of blues and grays, and teals and greens, and more grays. Just some small amounts of these last few colors. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look together. Uh, we're gonna try to find where these different ABs are going to go. So we're gonna start at the bottom. And let's see, yep, that red AB that we had a big bag of, doing lots of highlighting throughout this coral. Um, and then let's see, what color is the purple gonna be? What symbol? 
Okay, Purple AB is doing some highlighting around this. This is like an octopus tentacle. <gasps> Fun. Okay, so like the medium purple color and the suckers, there's like a ring of that purple AB around each of the suckers. The white AB is doing highlighting wherever you see the white in here. The the lightest color, which the, the white, the brightest white, I suppose, is a white AB. I also see a good amount of the blue AB highlighting in the fish. It's one of the middle blue colors, like one of the medium blue colors. And then let's see, 108. Or sorry, yeah, that was like a, did I miss that green AB? Oh, that was that first one I looked at, okay. Uh, that green AB, I wanna make sure I don't miss it. Okay, so there's like a line of it over here. It's kind of a chartreuse color in camera. Also here, so maybe a little bit of highlighting in the seaweed. The lightest green, almost yellow green you're seeing, same over here. That lightest green you're seeing is that green AB. This coral has some of the red AB actually like all throughout it. Uh, this octopus tentacle here, purple AB highlighting all around the top of it. I don't see any ABs in her skin tones, which is good um, in my just humble opinion. Um, blue ABs though in her hair. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. Lots of blue ABs highlighting throughout her hair. And let's see, does it go throughout? It does. It's kind of one of these middle blue colors that probably doesn't stand out necessarily in camera, but it does go throughout her hair and I think it's gonna add a really beautiful element of sparkle to her hair. Her eye has a single white AB and two of the green AB in it. And then we have a little bit more of the green AB here, kind of like the spine of those leaves, underwater leaves. Uh, purple AB highlighting here again through the octopus arms a bit. Red AB through that coral. Coming over here, our lionfish has some white ABs where you're seeing the white in there, it's white AB. This coral has some red in it and this octopus arm over here has some purple in it. And then once again, we have some green AB along here. <gasps> That's so pretty. I love the AB placement in these, especially in like underwater pieces like that. It's, I think it makes sense to have kind of a shimmery effect. And so having those ABs throughout, I think is gonna give it that. This is beautiful, you guys. This is again, Glass Mermaid by Dakota Deitweiler. And I adore Dakota Deitweiler's artwork. And I think Diamond Art Club really truly does a nice job of rendering it. And I am very curious to see how this one looks like with drills down. So I'm hoping to work on it pretty soon. I'm considering actually kitting this up and working on it right away uh, because I'm in between kits and this would fit some events I'd like to participate in. So you may see me going ahead and working on this right away. We'll see, but she's a stunner. And I really, really, really am loving what I'm seeing. All the colors are gorgeous. The ABs look amazing. The size, it's it's a good size. Like it's maybe a little bit on the big side. Like I wouldn't call this a beginner kit, especially with all the confetti and color changes. But I have a hunch that this is going to be a stunner when she's done. So just to recap, which I kind of already did, but just to recap one more time, Glass Mermaid Dakota Deitweiler, 65 by 65 centimeters, 53 colors, including five ABs, and it has square drills. This kit, along with the other new releases, are going to come out tomorrow, which is Saturday, March 4th, at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. Don't forget to set your alarms, especially if you're in the Diamond or Ruby tier of the rewards program. You get that half an hour early access window. A really quick note, though. Um, if, if you know you're going to want this kit or any of the other new releases, I recommend being there at release time, especially because we don't know ahead of time which kits are going to be limited edition. And often kits are changed to limited edition sometimes after they're released. So I suggest jumping on any kits that you know you're going to want to add to your own collection. Just because if something is marked as limited edition, most of the time, like nine times out of 10, <laughs> um, it's not going to be restocked once it sells out. 
And so I don't need to miss out on anything that's a must have for you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. A huge thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending this over. You guys, I hope this was helpful in deciding if this kit's going to be on your shopping list for the weekend. Um, let me know. What do you think? <laughs> and what do you think of some of the other new releases this week? Be sure to check out the sneak peeks from my fellow content creators that Diamond Art Club has sent out to. And best of luck to you if you're shopping this weekend. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to stay up to date with my diamond painting content, there's lots of it, including tutorials and reviews of finished kits and whatnot. Feel free to hit the subscribe button just down here. There's even a bell to be to click to be notified to um, for when I post new videos, if you like. <laughs> anyway, my friends, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.